All right, so let's go ahead and add in our floors. Um, to do that, you're going to need to make a new floor layer. So go ahead and click on the new layers. Um, click on the new layer button and just name a new layer floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a polyline and trace the interior drywall lines um, to create this. So let me delete my, here's my polyline. You can see that I've gone out and traced it. Notice that I didn't include the garage. So you're tracing all the exterior drywall lines except for excluding the garage. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. So you switch to your floor layer, drop down the line tool and go to polyline. You got to remember where you start. So remember where you're going to start. And what I'm looking for is the interior drywall lines. And remember that's the green lines right here. So I'm going to start right there and then I'm going to start working my way to the right. And I'm going to snap to the next interior uh, line there or for the drywall. And then I'm going to come down. And then now this is where it gets a little tricky because you want it to stop right here. And then now I want to go to this drywall line here. So I'm going to snap to perpendicular there. And I'm going to go up to this corner here, going across. Coming all the way down, so easy so far. Go over to there. Now when I come up, I'm going to use some dynamic input from this drywall line right there. I'm going to go across. Uh, I'm going to go over that wall and I'm going to go to this drywall line here. Come down there, over, again make sure you're snapping to your drywall lines. It may help to turn off the object layer because that right now is kind of messing with me a little bit. Um, so that might help to get rid of those blue lines. And I'm going to use dynamic input again to get this drywall line right here. And now this is where I don't want to include the garage. So I'm going to this drywall line here, coming up. And I'm going to go to uh, the interior wall here for the inside. So that is right there. I go straight across. Then again, this is why it's important to remember where you started. Because I know I started up here. So now on the last click, you click it, but then it wants to keep going. So after you make that last click, you need to right click, close. And then you'll notice um, it might be a little bit hard to find the polyline, but if you look where uh, there's an, a T intersection, you can click on the polyline and then you can see that the whole thing is selected. And The next thing that we want to do is extrude that thing because right now it's just a 2D line. We want to extrude it and actually give that floor some thickness. So I'm going to click the polyline and then type the word extrude and hit enter on the keyboard. As soon as I do that, um, if you look down on the bottom, it wants to know the... Um, the thickness or the height of the extrusion so you can type in 12 inches or you could do one foot hit enter and you've now extruded it but the only thing is you can't see it because you're in a 2d wireframe so if you switch to conceptual or realistic and you orbit you can now see your floor in your house except for the garage so let's go ahead and do the garage i'm going to switch to top Go back to wireframe. And then I'm going to stay on my floor tool. I'm going to go back to polyline. 
and I'm going to draw in the garage um, and I'm going to simply trace the inside of the garage here so again you got to look for the green lines it may help to turn off your other layers so I'm going to snap to the inside of the garage and pretty much draw that I could have just used a rectangle actually to do this one because this one's just a rectangular shape. It probably would have been easier. Um, and then my last click, I'm going to left click, right click, close, select that. And this one, you're only going to extrude one inch. So type extrude, enter, one inch. Let me try again. I messed up. Click on it. Extrude. Enter. One inch. Enter. And I've now extruded that as well. Just a little bit different thickness um, than your other floor there. So if you look. Let me orbit around this way. The bottom of the door should be lining up pretty much right with the floor. So that door swings open very flush with the floor there. And that is your house floor and your garage floor.